Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. And we're back at it again up in Cakewalk, man. Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. If you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That'll let y'all know when I drop another video. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to actually make some chords using the VSTs to make life a lot easier when making beats. You know, people use Scalar, people use chords, people use uh, a whole bunch of different things actually make these uh, chord progressions, make them a lot quicker, a lot faster, and it boosts their uh, productivity when they're actually making beats. So today I'm going to actually show you how to actually set that up in Cakewalk so you can get your VST chords plugins set up in here. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. I actually have this BCC Symphony set up in here. Really nice, um, but let's get into the action here. All right, so what I've learned is that you can't just add an instrument in order for it to actually work with the uh, MIDI. So what you want to do is actually do your synth rack. And to pull up your synth rack, you can go to Views, and you go to Synth Rack, and as you see, it has a shortcut code of Alt and 9. So this will bring up your synth rack, and your synth rack will be wherever you have your uh, media plugins and stuff. So mine's is over here right now. Um, if you want to add one, you hit the little plus sign. If you want to take one away, you hit the delete. Um, so if you hit the plus sign, it gives you an option to insert a synth. So we're going to actually go through uh, three of them, three different ones. But I mean, it should work for any one of them that you have. So if you have like Captain Chords or you have Scalar, it should work pretty much the same exact way. So I'm gonna go here, plus sign. I'm actually gonna start with the Reason Rack. And all you need is a simple instrument and make sure that en enabled MIDI output is actually on. So those are the only two things you need. You hit OK and boom, it makes the uh, makes the track here. And the reason I can see all this stuff is here because I have mines on all. Some may be on custom, so make sure you hit the uh, all in here and that'll actually bring up all your stuff. All right, so inside a reason rack, let's open it up. All right, and here we have reason rack. Um, I just downloaded this, this is the reason rack light. Um, Plugin Boutique is having a sale this month. Uh, hopefully I catch it before the month ends. I'm gonna go down to players and I'm gonna double click on this scales and chords and it's automatically going to make this MIDI out device for me. So I have a MIDI out device and I have my uh, scales and chords. All right. And as you see, it doesn't make any sounds, but you can see the keys being pressed on here so you can build your chords. So now what we want to do is make sure that this, the, the track that we wanted to go to, which is this symphony orchestra, um, you want to make sure that it's actually going to the reason rack. Um, when you actually do create a track the other way, it doesn't form this for some reason for your inputs. So this is the only way to get to your uh, inputs is uh, to actually make the synth. So once you make the synth, you add your uh, MIDI channel, see that it's on channel one, and you make sure your uh, echo is on. And there you have some quick chords. I mean, you can make them uh, four notes to sevens. So this is without the chords on. And with the chords on. So, I mean, it makes it a lot easier to kind of get your chords together, get everything going, and you can also record it. Um, I'm actually going to do a recording so you guys can see that. 
All right. So I'm gonna minimize, um, actually I'm gonna close out this using rack and let's go to the beginning. So I'm actually gonna get everything to kind of start on this, uh, this second bar here uh, because sometimes your MIDI actually comes in a little late. So you can either record on a reason rack and actually have it play out with just a single notes or you can actually do the full notes or the, the chords inside of uh, the track that you're actually using. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit on the record here and I'm just going to record the MIDI that's coming out of uh, the reason rack and it's going to go into this track here. As you can see, it actually made the, the notes in here, so you can actually edit them. If you go into the piano roll, gives you an option to edit uh, any of the keys. So let's say I wanted to uh, let's cut these. I'm gonna hold down Alt and hit the um, see the scissors, and it'll shit cut all three, and boom. So now you have. So it makes it so much easier to put some chords together to kind of get started if you're getting like that block when you're actually trying to make a record or anything you're trying to do. So let's actually uh, let's actually do a different one just to show you that it does work. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to actually delete uh, the reason rack. So now you see it went back to Omni, which means it has none on there. So let's add another one let's go to um, let's go to instacords real quick and once again simple instrument and make sure your uh, midi is enabled inside the synth rack and that's pretty much all you need then you should be good to go so now when i go into this none it should give me an option for instacord and you hold channel one and now the instacord is actually synced or linked to the uh the strings and the way you hear it is turn on your echo. So make sure your echo is turned on once you set everything up. So I'm going to go inside the Instacord. So Instacord has a really cool way of um, just making like a strum uh, for their sounds. I'm just going to make another chord here. Drum. And once again, it's still still the same uh, philosophy. You just hit, hold on and record. All right. And as you see, uh, it does the strumming for the Instacord and you can actually view it in the piano roll here. It does the strum up and the strum down. So it gives you all those options to make sure you can get all your chords out and ready to go. And uh, Instacord is another one that is uh, really dope, uh, but uh, it is something you do have to pay for. So if you're not looking to pay for it, and you want to kind of have these same kind of options there there are others out there i got the reason rack for free but uh you know i had to buy another thing inside of uh plugin boutique and like i said this is for the month of july 2020 so if you're watching this in the future that sale is probably over 
So you'll probably have to purchase it or they may have some other way of getting it uh, for free. But um, I'm going to add one more on here. I'm going to minimize the keyboard here and I'm going to add one more. And we're going to do uh, chords. Chords is a free uh, MIDI MIDI VST that can actually do chords. So I'm going to set this one to chords. I'm going to do the channel one and boom, I'm ready inside of the symphony or whatever plugin you actually have here for your sounds and inside of chords. This is how it looks. So let's say we wanted to actually do, um, let's just do like a, a harmonic minor, right? I'm gonna hit apply and it shows me which chords those are. So So it gives you that option to kind of uh, kind of go freely in this as well. You can actually change your, your keys if you want to change them. If I want to put this here, add another key, I can do that. All you gotta do is click on it and you click on it again to remove it if you don't want that one. Um, you have a timing option where you can actually do for each note, uh, those are, it does up to five notes. So you can change the velocity, the scale, how random when it actually starts in your end delay. So basically, if I wanted the first note to start later, it will start whenever I actually have it in milliseconds so that you can actually get that same strumming uh, option. And up here, as you see, it shows which uh, keys is actually being used. And then it shows the chord that that key is actually making. So really, really cool um, option. I'll probably leave a link in the description of you can get this. It is only for Windows, um, just like Cakewalk right now uh, by BandLive is only for Windows. So this is a, a great way to uh, to kind of do another combination to actually get your chords in and your beats a lot easier. And as you see, I can go up the scale as well. Really cool plugin. Once again, all you had to do is just hit the uh, hold, hit the record on here. Uh, let's go back. And boom, you have your chords that you actually just played. You're able to go into your piano roll. You can actually move them around and change, uh, you know, whatever you actually want to do, do your strums, you can do different things in here. So this is just another way to get y'all to make beats a lot quicker inside of Cakewalk by Band Lab. I mean, if y'all have like any like questions or concerns about this, definitely hit me below in the comments below. And once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. Peace.